Welcome fellow prospectors. So you want to tour into the life of the rat, huh? Making people run away scared and maybe even apologize to you just for stepping in your direction. Well, that purple gear is mine, brother. Appreciate it. Or you want to get some knife kills, bring absolutely nothing. Hide in a bush, pick up some blue armor. Or you just want to dump down on duos. See, the most difficult thing about being a rat is the execution. It's simple to bring in a shotgun, but what's not simple is finding your target and getting close. The stealth required is immense and the patience as well. But if you can pull it off right, you may just become a successful rat. Now, settle in guys, this is gonna be a long one. This video is gonna go over how to spot people, how to sneak up, how to play stealthy, what kind of weapons you should bring, and just an overall introduction on the lifestyle that is the rat. Future videos are going to get even more disgusting and use even dirtier tactics. But for now, we'll start off with the basics. We're going to be bringing a regular backpack, any of the first three weapons, whatever you're most comfortable with, but preferably the trench gun, tactical helmet and tactical chest so you can run further. Five week stims and five week med kits, along with two smoke grenades and attachments are a waste of money for a rat. And once you get comfortable ratting, you can bring a bulldog or a scrapper. The bulldog is a little over six grand, so it's like four or five trench guns. So remember that. That's why we bring out the gray guns, nice and cheap. You got your loadout, it's 3 4k, super cheap, super nasty, nice kill potential. Now you gotta find a target, sneak up on them, and execute well. Now what are these red X's? These are places where there's high ground positions where you can overlook the surrounding area and easily spot enemies from afar. This way they can't see you and you can see them. And this will begin the next phase in your journey, the stalk. In order to keep this relatively short and as interesting as possible, I'm gonna go over the best location and that is near the lake. Here, you're near a couple of extracts. You can hear the North Uplink. You can see the people going to their extracts west. You can get people coming in and out of Waterfall Lab. You can get the people trying to do the quest in the lake. It's just insane. When you're in this spot, one of the most common traffic uh, sources you'll see are people transferring between this river. You can hop down to the right in the rocks play sneaky now this guy was running hard so i wanted to make sure i could catch him i was able to spot him i think he took some damage from the strider so he's healing now see a rat is not going to take the fight head on we're taking it above the rocks with the bulldog some real nasty so you don't want to take the conventional fight the rat thinks differently thinks outside the box he makes his own playground and you my friend have to play in it after I spot this guy, he's playing like a Chad, just shooting everything, making a bunch of noise, and that's when the rat thrives. He's able to push in undetected. Now this guy opens his door and I think he goes in. So I go loud, realizing he goes left. Now I don't sprint so he doesn't hear me. Boom. See, playing stealth is a tricky game. You got either your first option is you stay too far behind and he eludes you and runs away and you can't trace him. Number two is you get too close, they find out where you are, and then, well, you gotta fight it out earlier than you'd hope to. The sweet spot is about 10 to 15 feet, six to seven meters. You can use a decoy, smoke grenades, all sorts of stuff to mess with people's heads. Now, I see that one group member was way ahead of the other one, so I threw a decoy to maybe flush them back into me, into this tree line. They don't end up pushing, but this pistol guy was kind of paying attention a bit. He's calling out to his friend, Jimmy, Jimmy, help me. And now I just hold this and let him come to me. This is not Call of Duty, it's not Apex. We don't have to run out there. We don't have ADHD. The rat is super patient. Speaking of being patient, this is what happens when you, you get a little bit too close and the stealth goes wrong. See, I'm paying attention nicely. I'm peeking. I'm just exposing the left side. So in case he looks at me, whoop. I can get behind the tree and he sees nothing. Now him and the duo are running out. I slide in, keep line of sight. I'm like, shit, they're booking it, they're gone. They're gone, I gotta take my knife out. I don't wanna lose them, I don't wanna lose them, I don't wanna lose them. And of course I'm running way too hard and these guys are just waiting for me, look, look, <laughs> to do our setup. Now listen, I got no meds. I came into this raid with just a pump shotgun and a little bit of ammo. Literally four rounds left after this magazine oh so you're playing patient right we're waiting let them come to us dropped one already 
If we push, we're dead. We got no meds. We just have to wait, wait, wait. Hold it. See if there's any cover behind us. Is there any place we can transfer to? I realized that I did pick this up in a crate. I got a couple of bullets. I can make use of that before he comes in. I'm trying to bait some shots out so he can come with an empty mag. Try to do the best we can with this one clip we have. Switch to shotgun. And there's another guy. Another guy comes in to try to finish it off. And I got no HP and no meds. So we're just going to let this guy take up all the loot. But had he had not been there, it had totally been ours for the taking. So that's how you play smart and play slow. And also, turn it into a game where they got to push you. They're, they're the duo. They feel confident. They're the trio. They feel confident. Let them come into your jungle. Let them come into the trap that you set up. Speaking of traps that you can set up, in the next video I'll go over which are the best places. But I call in the extract a couple of times just to bait people over. And we got this blue armored chad just full sprinting past me. The greatest power we have as a rat or the rat community together is that other people are way too overconfident. They got two, three people. They're feeling themselves. They got a weapon. You don't. It literally doesn't matter. There's a guy underneath here who's taking shots. I want to see if maybe I can follow him or figure out where he's going. Maybe we can play the stealth game. Ah, he notices me. So you know what? Now it's time to mess with him a little bit. You got to irritate him because I can't come down there. That's instant death. He's got to come up here. So we bait and switch, mess with him a little bit, see if he's coming, he's not, irritate him a bit more. Now the rat is a master of irritation, okay? He gets him so frustrated, they just see nothing but red. This guy's fuming, charge strike, boom. That's it. Easy as that. Full loot, full backpack, everything, had just a knife. Now you can do this in a lot of situations. I wouldn't try and abuse it, but it sure is fun. Now, a rat always checks his surroundings before entering, so you don't get dusted like this guy. I hear a duo in the lab. I'm checking. I think they might have left. Turns out he was hiding. Time to chase him. He doesn't know. <laughs> it goes nowhere. Oh, that's rough. His other duo comes out with a bulldog. No idea where he was hiding. But you can shoot, reload, shoot, reload. So make sure to use that. Now I want you to know, never give up. It's never over, not even close. If you got meds on you, especially a med kit, you'll be chilling. This guy gets in so much shots, but it doesn't matter if I can get this med kit off. Now you can fall down so long as you don't get stunned when you drop, you'll be fine. Try to get this little piece of cover and it's game time now. Reload, get those two bullets in, just like that. I hear two people fighting in front of me and I'm not trying to get engaged until the last second. Boom. The other guy has to reload. Check that I'm recording. Missed. Which would have been it. Check. Keep on height. Make sure he's not running away. He is. He empties his mag. Now's the perfect time to full send it. You have a shotgun so you have to. Far too often do I see people playing with a shotgun against the SMG in mid-range, just like I'm about to, and you don't send it. I can tell this guy's got a scrapper, send off the first shot. When he finishes or is halfway through his mag, we start pushing. So then we can out-DPS him when he reloads, just like that. His body absolutely gets sent by someone else. He's trying to transfer over to mid, we throw a grenade. Promptly on him, smoke so we can push in, that's why we bring them. So massive. Changes the whole battlefield in an instant. Though I hear someone behind me. I think he's creeping up. Guy behind me threw a decoy. I'm throwing a smoke off. Break line of sight. Uh oh, he's turning around. Something about throwing another, but I'm getting beamed from the side. I'm like, hold up. I'm going to take a second to back up. Save my smoke. Heal for a second. Listen, maybe it's a trio. Maybe it's a duo. Wait to get more info. See, it's really important. Audio is everything for you. If you see mobs chasing someone, you know that someone's there. And you know, you can hear footsteps, gunshots, audio is everything. So you can see there's still gunfire going on. So they're fighting with someone else. I did find a slug attachment. So I threw it on there. Got it hidden. And now I'm thinking, okay, now's the time to send it. They got a sniper. They got all this stuff. They're just going to keep sending it back and back and back. Find some cover, get the smoke to go up, get my heal, and start making use of the hard cover here along with a few of the bushes. 
trying to get line of sight, trying to see where they're at, trying to get some info. Look at all these bushes, so much shrubbery. Look at that, has no idea. He's scared. He got pumped hard. He's like 40% less. This guy's here. Dead. See, why bring a sniper if you can simply bring a few smoke grenades? I don't understand. Yeah, you can hit people at range, but if the guy can enass a little bit, dodge, throw a smoke, there's nothing you can do. You just wasted 7,000. I mean, more if you put the two times on it, which, come on, let's be honest, you definitely did. It's like an eight, nine grand sink. Why would you do that? I'll just buy eight, nine grand worth of smoke grenades. I'll be smoking it every match. Holy Jesus. Sniper over here trying to beam me down. Trying to grab some ammo. That's why it's important we bring the little trench gun. It's nice for close range. Let you get the jump on your enemy. But if you kill a guy, you can always pick up his weapon and get that long range and exactly what you need. Got the AR ammo now. Oh, it's my turn. He's buying the tree. Spam him a little bit. Spam, spam. Get that reload in case he decides to peek. He's running behind that rock here. Now we keep our AR out till we get to close range. Switch to the shotgun. Juke him. Then put him down. There we go. A little fun time at the lake. So pretty much the overall premise of this video was just to get you to understand how to find targets, how to sneak up on them, how to use cover to your advantage, how to play smart, play slow, use smoke grenades, the, some tech with the healing, and uh, of course the abuse with the trench gun. Now this is me on my own drill, two guys boarded it before I did, I was hiding in the bushes, went to the bathroom, came back. So I had to try to find these rats. But if you guys want to see more in-depth guides, I'll do a whole trench gun guide. I'll do a whole movement tech guide. I can do a lot of rat stuff. At, uh, at first, I just wanted to lay it on easy, get some basic principles out there so you guys could start ratting already. And for your homework, I want three kills, right, where you spot them, track them, and kill them. Then clip it and ship it over to Reddit, call it the Rat Challenge 101, and then make sure to tag me as well. That'd be pretty cool. I want to see if you guys make use of it. And you're able to rat some fiends. Bonus tips for purple and blue armor if you can find them, boys. Good luck out there, and if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop in the comments or send me a message on Reddit. Here's my username. It's your smooth op TTV or your smooth operator. All right, guys, it was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, just beginner guide, real casual stuff. Something to give you a little taste on the rat journey. And uh, yeah, we'll be crushing into it. We're going to get really nasty. Probably going to get a lot of dislikes and hate. But you know what? Hey, solo's got to do what a solo's got to do. You know what I mean? Side note, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subbed. It really means a lot to me, and I'm really blown away. And uh, I can't wait to begin this YouTube journey and make a lot of great content. And like I said earlier, it'll get better with every video. I've never edited videos before. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing at all. So we're just trying to see what works, see what doesn't, you know, maybe speed things up, slow things down. We'll mess around with it and uh, we'll see what works right. But I'm really excited to make content for the cycle. I think it's a really fun game. I think it's casual. I think we could do cool events like sub Sundays. We could run kits and grow a discord together. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think and uh, consider liking and subscribing if you guys enjoyed the video or if you guys end up getting a few kills from my tips. All right, guys, enjoy your day and uh, may the loot be out there for you waiting a little smart mesh.